Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I wanna to show you how to easily get rid of anything in your footage using AI. Let's go. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that wanna shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here, I hope everybody's doing well. Today I wanna to show you guys how to get rid of anything in your footage using AI. Specifically, we're gonna be using Runway ML. We've done tons of videos in the past and sometimes stuff happens and you wanna remove it in post. It might be somebody intruding the stage that you do not want there or it might be some drone footage that you just wanna clean play of. I'm gonna show you guys how this new tool by Runway Works. It's called InPaint and it's a content aware tool that helps you just clean up your footage, maybe fix stuff in post as much as we don't like saying that. So I'm going to show you guys how that works. Let's go. So Runway works best in Chrome. So I'm just going to open up Chrome, go to Runway, log in, and I'm just going to create a new project. Now I've preloaded some of this stuff. All the stock footage used are from Envato Elements, which are bringing this video today. They've got your first month for $9. Check them out, they're ridiculous. I use them all the time for client work, motion graphics, all that kind of stuff. And they're great. Definitely check out the link in the description. So I'm gonna drag this footage down. And as you can see, if I play it back, you've got tons of people. And what if I wanna create a clean plate of that? I just want the drone footage to just have nothing in. Although I do like the movement here. We're gonna take this as an example. Now click on the footage and then go to your right and click on in painting. Go to the beginning of the footage. And right here we've got your brush, you can adjust the brush size. And what I'm gonna do is, let's get rid of this guy right here in yellow. And that's it, it's pretty much done it. If I was to do this in another program, it would probably take a bit of processing. And if I play it back, because there is some movement, he kinda appears again. So we just need to keyframe this. When he appears, just give the AI a bit more information to work with. Sometimes you have to account for the shadows because we still can see some movement there. So just make sure you cover the shadows as well. So yeah, it's that easy and you can go further and create keyframes. And if I was to spend a bit more time and get rid of everything, this is what it would look like. Really cool thing you can do, which I believe the Runway guys have done on the YouTube channel, is using one piece of footage, maybe set on a tripod and do this kind of parallax kind of effect. Now I'm gonna be using green screen and in paint. So I'm gonna copy this bad boy up just by using option and dragging up. And on the first clip, the top clip right here, I'm gonna go and do the green screen. And this is how fast this is, this is a bit ridiculous. Once this loads up, I'm basically gonna click on the parts I want keyed out. And it's basically just keyed everything out that I needed it to. Go back to my timeline, that's done. And on the bottom clip, I'm gonna be using InPaint. Now with InPaint, I want this guy removed, so I'm gonna adjust the brush size and then just get rid of this guy. <laughs> so as you can see, it's done a pretty good job right here. We can kind of see this area being a bit darker, but using it for this effect we're gonna be doing just really works. So I've separated the background from the subject. Now I'm gonna be keyframing these. So if you right click and then animate, I'm just gonna animate the scale and position. So let's go from him being bit larger on the screen and then keyframe it to go to the original size so that we get this kind of slow movement so mind you this is just a static shot from a tripod now the background we're going to make zoom in again right click animate and we're going to use scale and position and this is the kind of effect we get after we separate the subject from the background and add some keyframes in I'm just gonna choose a more complicated background. I'm gonna take this piece of footage right here and I'm gonna try the same thing. Option and drag up to duplicate that. On the top clip, I'm just gonna apply the green screen. This is a bit darker shot. I'm just gonna give it a few more points of reference. So I'll go with that. And then on the bottom one, we're gonna do the in paint effect, just the brush size. Now I'm being a bit messy with this. I'm gonna exclude some parts in a minute. So if you press two on your keyboard, then you get the exclude brush. So I'm just gonna adjust it a bit and make the finer edges. So that's pretty cool. So it's kind of crazy how it's kept the straight lines. It tried to make up what the artwork and the basketball hoop would look like. And it's done a pretty good job, I think. So as you can see, I'm just gonna refine that a bit more. But as you can see where that basketball hoop is, 
it's tried to copy the pixels around it, obviously, and using AI tried to make a clean play. Is it perfect? No, it's not, but it's done a crazy good job of giving us a clean play and kind of predicting what is behind our subject. So that's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. And after you've done that, creating the clean plate and separating the background for your subject, you can go into Premiere or After Effects and do some really cool stuff. Myself, Quinn, Herman, and Nick, we've all done videos on different visual effects you can use for your music videos, vlogs, check them out. But then you mix that in with some assets maybe you download from Envato, and then you get into this realm of making some really interesting stuff. And obviously if you need drone footage and you don't have a drone, you can always go to Involved Homelands and get it. But sometimes you might have stuff in there that you don't want. So we're just gonna use InPaint and just give myself a really clean drone shot with no vehicles in shot. So I'm just gonna chop the clip right there and use it up to there. So I just want a few seconds of it. Now the things I wanna take out might be this car and the shadow. Go to the beginning of the clip, draw out what you don't want in there anymore does its magic processing and it, there it goes. It's pretty much done. So that's pretty clean. You can't even see what was there. And after you've done that, you just export it. Now the cool thing is it's free to use, free to experiment with. You can export up to 720p as far as I'm aware on the free plan, but then you need to upgrade and they've got different pricing tiers as far as that goes. If you want to export 1080p, 4K, ProRes, PNZ, all that kind of stuff. So check it out in the description. Just uh, try it out. <laughs> you got nothing to lose. Let's read some comments. This is from five music effects part two that Nick did. He did an incredible job. So Aaron H, I'm still not swimming in AE waters, but this is a great addition to my try menu. After Effects can be scary sometimes, but we've got enough tutorials on the channel. Just, just check out. We've got beginner ones, 20 minute ones, and hour ones. Josh and Herman and Nick have done an incredible job on them. So check those out. Sergo Cucciarini says more music video effects, bro. Trust me, they're coming. This is for my favorite apps video. Oh, I'm gonna screw this name up. Adiant Nambiar. Really love that you told the price of each tool in this vid. Really nice videos, keep it up. Thank you. Yes, price matters. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, once you start subscribing to loads of stuff, yeah, it kind of stacks up. So you need to be mindful of that. Nick Koo, <laughs> wow, you really took the task on that hard drive. Remind me to never get on your bad side. Yeah, check out the video. I kind of destroyed a hard drive because it stopped working on me and it had a lot of client files on. So managed to recover them, but yeah, check out the video. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Invite to Homeland's link in the description, $9 for your first month, a stupid deal. Like, subscribe, turn the bell on. We drop videos every single week. Comment below if you got any questions or suggestions for future videos. If you want to say hi to me personally, Dave the Greco is my IG handle. Till next time, peace.